واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يزلمون My dear respectable brothers and sisters in Islam, or respectable elders and beloved listeners, we recommend by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we make it possible for we, for we among those we meet in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on a beautiful day like this known as Yom al Jum'ah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for grant we guidance. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for country acceptance. Indeed, for those of us who are following, we will realize that by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it comes to the Arabic calendar, we did inside the fifth month by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fifth month of the Arabic calendar, and today, peace in Allah ta'ala being the jointed of Jumani Ula by the mass of Allah. We coincide with the English calendar today being December the 24th by the will of Allah. It is important for us for conscientize yourself by the mass of Allah as we all will agree that unarguably we day in an era, we day in a time, we day in the period of celebration. A period where people let me celebrate, subhanAllah, a lot of celebrations, a lot of jubilation. A good for let me go to what you call spiritual rehabilitation by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because most of the celebrations where people have engaging, it don't lead to a lot of destruction, it don't lead to a lot of hypertension. If I for let me identify with identity as Muslims then, Especially in that period there, we are in celebration, they become hyper, jubilation, they become hyper, that sometimes even the Muslim we get a network, there are some among us we they temporarily lose the network. Why? Because of the December. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make we among the one them where they maintain we identity upon all conditions and at all time by the mass of Allah. My beloved brothers and sisters, we are Muslims. And being a Muslim means you submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all go to the common definition when it comes to Islam. And Islam simply means the complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what you make me Muslim, what you make me Muslim? Not the submission to the will of Allah. Whatever thing where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say do are any for doam. Whatever thing where the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say do are any for doam. And whatever thing where Allah and the messenger say for let us stay away from or for let you stay away from you are any for doam. Once we complete this one then we don't become true Muslims. Subhanallah. So we need to realize that there is a difference between for obey and for submit. When you obey, subhanallah, there is a possibility for let you disobey as much as possible. There are times you obey person because they get power past you. Sometimes even in marriage, a wife they obey the husband because the husband gets upper power past him. But the day when his wife they get what you know he gets before, then he will show the true color to his husband. The same thing also goes some husband they subhanallah. He very obedient when he get job. As soon as he get the job, then he lost network. All of these things they happen, but when it comes to submission, it means say, no matter your level, no matter your achievements, whether you go up or you can go, or you stay outside your day, you still ready for submit to a power way for control you. Your achievements not a change that submission. Subhanallah. No matter the level where you attain, you are ready for submit. This is the true definition of submission. When it comes to being a Muslim, we need for submit to Allah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something, a true believer, they say, Samina wa qana. Adon yari and are ready for follow. Subhanallah. Adon submit to the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is only when we do that one day 
That is when we become true Muslims. But today we have Muslims by seasons. We get Muslims of Allah via timing. At a particular time, in a Muslim is submit to Allah. The moment he gets a good job, this same Muslim not they can mosque again. This same Muslim will call himself Muslim, not they fulfill his salah again. When he wants a visa for travel, go overseas. If he submit to Allah, he cry to Allah. The moment Allah grant him the visa and he travel, he reach overseas, subhanallah, and he go see what he not be seen before. This same Muslim will call you where they are now. You say, brother, you know it's for me. Even for pray, we don't get time. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. A true Muslim, they continue to submit to Allah. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuwa ladheena amanu, udukhulu fi silmi kaafa, wa la tattabiru khudwati shaytan. Oh, now we believe. Una submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah they instruct me for enter inside the deal with totality. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُ خُطْوَاتِ شَيْطَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instruct me, let me not follow the footstep of shaytan. Why? Because إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ أَدُوُمْ مُبِينٌ For indeed shaytan is a potential enemy against all of us, against all those who submit to Allah. Shaytan is a potential enemy because he knows the benefits where they for submit to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell me in the Quran, for Lord be conscious of him as much as he deserves to be conscious of him. And Allah tell me, he say, وَلَا تَمُوتُونَ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Lord will not die upon any condition beside being submissive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is only when we die upon submission, that is when we will receive the glad tidings of entering Jannah. The only way we will enjoy this beautiful deen where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala designed for me, Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Al-Yawma aqmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-Islam deena. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ashawi in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, He said this day ashawi in us, aqmaltu lakum deenakum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, He don't complete, He don't package this with deen, and He don't complete in favor upon me, and He don't please for choose Islam as with deen. And Almighty Allah tell me, He say, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ Whosoever will seek any other deen, any other system, beside the system systemized by the system controller, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty Allah say, you know, go accept that particular system where anybody follow beside the system of Allah. And Almighty Allah ashawi, he say, inna dina, inna allahi al-Islam, the true deen recognized and authenticated, subhanallah, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is beautiful deen of Islam. So we need to be thankful to Allah when we happen to be Muslims. We need to be thankful to Allah for being among those who submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your achievement is not for change, it's not for affect your submission to Allah. The goal where you score is not for lead you to a celebration, we will lead you to destruction subhanallah. No matter who you are or what you are in this life, we need to ensure that to be the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By following the do's of Allah and abstaining from the don'ts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is only by doing so we will become true successful people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they tell me in the Quran, He say, Ati'u Allah wa Ati'u Rasul. Let we obey Allah. Let we submit to the instruction of Allah. Let we obey the messenger and submit to the instruction of the instructor where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to me. Almighty Allah tell me in the Quran, 
He said, in duty uhu, if una follow this man who has sent to una, tahdadu, una go be guided in this life, and una go be guided in the year after. My beloved brothers and sisters, in order for we, for be complete submitters to the will of Allah, we need to ensure that we follow what in the Quran say, and what in the Sunnah of Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach me. It is only by doing so we will achieve the achievement of being people and we are true Muslims by the will of Allah. Today we have people and we call themselves Muslim, but then they practice Islam, not Islam. A true Muslim, they practice Islam and it's Islam Lillah. Submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if they allow Allah for control, because if you know Allah, Allah for control you, then you continue for all. And if you continue for all without a controller, you go roll like Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect me. So we need the creator for counter we rolling. Otherwise, we'll continue for all. No wonder, subhanallah, we have Muslims, subhanallah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something, Allah says something, then they hear him. Then they say, Samina wa asayna. We don't hear what Allah say, but we don't deny completely. But this same person, he they call himself as a Muslim. How can you belie what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, and what the messenger say, and you still call yourself Muslim, subhanallah. So a Muslim gets a code of conduct. A Muslim gets a syllabus where they follow. A Muslim gets rules and regulations where they control them. There is no way you go want to live how you want and you still achieve the achievement of being a true Muslim. A true Muslim not they live how you want. A true Muslim not they eat how he want. A true Muslim not they eat what he wants and how he wants them and who's how he wants them. A true Muslim not a dress how he wants, subhanallah. And a true Muslim, not a true Muslim is being controlled by a power. And that power that the creator will create you all. So if you truly want to be a Muslim, you need to allow for a power to control you. And there is no better power for control a human being as to compare to Allah will create you. Because the increase we is a bit better. Because the increase he deserve for control. Allah lahul khalq wal amr. Allah na increase because he na the creator na he deserve for control. To Allah na then we offer submit. Wa nahnu lahu muslimun turam to Allah alone na to offer submit. Subhanallah. Just like how good predecessors them. Then we submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because then we submit to Allah. That is why Almighty Allah grant the Jannah. Allah be pleased with them and he refer to them as Radhi Allah anhum wa radu an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them. Because then we please for please Allah. Because then we submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can we follow their footsteps? How can we be the best, subhanallah, if we still the follow with desires? If we still the allow with desires, then for control we. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they tell Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he say, waspir nafsak, ma alladheena yadhuuna rabbahum bi khadati wa ashihi yuriduna wajha, wa la ta'adu aynaaka anhum turidu zilata al-hayat al-dunya, wa la tuti'u. من أغفل قلبه عن ذكرنا واتبع هوا الله سبحانه وتعالى في سورة القرآن إن جاب 18 ألمت على سي أو محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إن أدا فأجيب تو سبميشن تو الله كونكت يوسف ويدي وان دم ويدي كول ان الله مونين ان إيفي تيم كونكت يو لايف ويدي وان دم ويدي سبميت تو مي سبحان الله where desire and pleasure come close to them. Do not follow, not connect yourself with the one they want in the dunya they want. 
Not connect yourself with one of them. Wait all about your life. Now for dunya. Now how to achieve more in the dunya. Now how to get more houses them. More cats them. More women them. More picking them. The only focus is about dunya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, No, they want them. Subhanallah. Where they follow their desires. Where they follow their desires. There is no way a human being go submit himself to his desire and he achieve the achievement of being a true Muslim. Subhanallah. Until you submit your desire to Allah, that is when you go see the transformation in your life. You know why some of you they pray, but they don't see the salah for we. You know why? Now because subhanallah, we they pray but we not submit to Allah. Maybe we they pray because they announce that the mosque say if you don't pray, they know they pray we die. Sometimes we they pray because election they come, we want votes. So we cannot much deep for that. Subhanallah. Wallahi, when you submit to Allah, when you submit to Allah, it will reflect in your life. People around you will realize that this man is not the same person anymore. There is no way you go truly submit to Allah and your life will remain the same. No way you go truly submit to Allah and you still want for clubby, you want for party, subhanallah, you want for going to pub and club, subhanallah, and you still want to do whatever you want for do. When you submit to Allah, there are things where fine at the eye. You know they do them, you know why? Because it go against the law of Allah. There are things where your family members them, they will invite you to us, but because you fear Allah and you submit to Allah, you go look your family members and you say, look, I love Una, but I love Allah more than Una, subhanAllah. But because we submission to Allah, it's not too strong. Most of we now obey, we obey Allah, we not submit to Allah. That is why whatever thing we come, whatever tide we come, in the can we go. Subhanallah. You know why? Because we just enter inside the motor car. We don't sit down inside the spiritual vehicle. Some of you we sit down inside the vehicle, but we not sit belts. So small gallop in the movie. Subhanallah. Until we enter inside this dim, kafa in totality. We sit belts inside the vehicle of spirituality. That is when we go find the true sweetness. Of this beautiful deed by the mass of Allah. That is when we life will be transformed, not only transforming, but rather we will be transformers, we will transform other people by the mass of Allah. We ask Allah for make me among the one them where they submit to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Hujurat, He said, Qalati al Arab, the Arab, the Bedouin Arabs them. They come to the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. They tell him, they say, Amanna. We will not believe in Allah. Subhanallah. And Almighty Allah responded to them. He said, tell them, say, Lam tu'minu, we will not believe it. Walakin kulu aslamna. Barada, we will not say, we will not submit to Allah. Iman, they come in you when you submit to Allah. Iman, they grow in you only when you allow Allah to control you. When you allow Allah to be your driver, that is when the Iman, they grow in you. Some of us, subhanAllah, they struggle with the Iman so much. You know why? Now because we still want to look what we desire. We still want to touch whatever you will desire. We still want to learn. Whatever you will desire, we still want to do whatever you will desire. We know they check whether Allah accept this one or not, whether Sunnah accept this one or not. Subhanallah, we just they do what you want for you. So Almighty Allah tell the Bedouin Arab them. He said, tell them say, una not believe it, but rather una say, una not submit. Walama yadhul al iman fi bulubikum. Iman not enter inside the heart. It. If Iman enter inside the heart, we na go follow Allah and the Messenger. If we na follow Allah and the Messenger, la yadikum bil amalikum shayya. 
Certainly and surely, Allah no go destroy una walk if una truly submit to Allah. If una follow Allah and the Messenger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no go destroy una walk. The only time where Allah they destroy, we give them. Now because we they do them how we want them. Some of you they pray how we want. Just like the description of the hypocrites. Allah said when the hypocrites come to mosque, when they turn up for prayer, Kamu Kusala. Then they turn up carelessly. You know, carelessly. You know, they even think they're not Muslim. Subhanallah. You know, they get that kind of tranquility in the masjid. You know, they will remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. Yura'una al-nasa. In attention, in connected to Mutamandem. In the prayer for show off to people. Subhanallah. You know when you start knowing that na show off in the show off na mosque? If you can't have masjid and you see people like You take time for do you takbira to the ihram. You take time so much. And when you pray you want a house, you don't take time. Know that you get the trace of hypocrisy. <coughs> Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, the hypocrites them, you are all and nasa. They aim, the agenda, na for show off to people like وَلَا يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا They know they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much except that story. So when they are doing deed in front of people, they are the perfecter. But when they are doing deed between themselves and Allah alone, they do the worst. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you true submission. May Allah make you among the one that when they submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and may Allah forgive who mistakes them, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon we, and may Allah grant we acceptance. Aqulu qawli haza, wa astaghfirullahu li wa lakum, wa astaghfiruhu inna hu kana ghafara. We ask Allah forgiveness, hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive who mistakes them, and he will delete them completely. Astaghfirullah. الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهله وصحبه أجمعين عما بعد بلا بقرات الصيصة الإسلام ورسبتي بالإسناس وثانك الله سبحانه وتعالى إنه بريف محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إفامي لدي كومبانيوز أن يسكت الله وبلس المول ما بلا بقرات الصيصة for us to achieve the true submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to agree for the Qur'an and Sunnah until we by the mass of Allah until the Qur'an and Sunnah be with Raiva then inshallah we don't look inside the correct people by the mass of Allah why did that start off with this of being submitters to Allah? now because there are many purposes many things that will come up subhanallah especially in a month like this a month we are in, subhanallah, celebrations and jubilation, they become hyper, they become so grand. A month we are in sin, subhanallah, they become double fold, not only in Sierra Leone, but around the globe in the month of December. There is no month in the entire year we are in sin, they multiply as to compare to December. Subhanallah, check around the globe, subhanallah, watch out and see. Even those people them sometimes where we they practice Islam, some of them they lost network in December. Some of them they suspend the membership in Islam. They say, La kill for subhanallah, not the month of enjoyment. It's a season, so for that reason, La continue for chill until after the season there they come back. The question is, supposing you go in not come in. Subhanallah. Supposing the outing be your last outing. Supposing you die in the carnival, what did you go tell Allah? Supposing you die in a club, what did you go tell Allah? Supposing you die in zina, in fornication, what did you tell Allah? What did you tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We are in the Prophet alayhi salam salam tell me. He said a believer is not a believer at the time when you commit zina. When you say when you die upon that condition, you die out of the fall of Islam. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, may Allah forgive who mistakes them. In this period of so much jubilation and celebration, if I, if I, for let me do filtration, let me know exactly who shall belong. We are Muslims, we are controlled by Allah. 
We are controlled by the Sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salam salam. We know they follow the flow. We they follow Quran and Sunnah. Subhanallah. Because of that one day, when we non-Muslim brother, or we non-Muslim sister, or we non-Muslim friend, or we non-Muslim workmates, he invites me for go in their own act of worship. Me not a Muslim, I go back to the Quran and see what in Allah tell me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Lakum dinukum waliyaji. I love you as a friend, I love you as a brother, I love you as a sister. But look, me deen tell me say, when it comes to act of worship, Lakum dinukum waliyaji. You get your deen and me self get your deen. Subhanallah. For that reason, Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Kullu his bin bima ladayhi farihim. Everyone they jubilate and they celebrate, everyone they enjoy what he gets. Me get Islam, I mean a Muslim, subhanallah, I submit to Allah. You get what you believe, continue for enjoy what you believe, subhanallah. I cannot force you for accept me your belief. But Matthew says in the Quran, La ikrafi deen. There is no compulsion in this deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Likullin ja'alna minkum shir'atan wa min haja. Walau sha'allah la ja'alakum ummatan wahida. Walakin liyabluwakum fi ma atakum fastabiku l-khayrat. Illa Allahi marji'ukum jami'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, for each and every one of us, Allah grants a system. Subhanallah, a syllabus. Almighty Allah says if he wants, if for them we all the same. All of us. He said, Subhanallah. But Allah says, for Rada, at the test to now, fire within a kuna. For stopping the khayrat, on a race towards goodness. Una race towards goodness. Why Allah they test we? He want for see the one the way they race towards goodness. Subhanallah. In them moments they are divine. For let we identify ourselves as Muslims and go to list of me to Allah. Otherwise the flow, who can we go? Otherwise the jubilation, who can we go? And at the end of the day, it will lead to destruction of Iman. It will lead to hypertension. Subhanallah. Some people get a lot of regret after December. Why? Because they destroy all the savings inside one month. Some people destroy all the savings of the whole 11 months inside one month. Why? They follow the flow. So when my non Muslim neighbor, Subhanallah, invites me and say, Tomorrow, now we on day. Tomorrow, that the day, Subhanallah, come to invite you. Now we bless of worship. Come to church. We invite you. For let yourself come. Let you come to church. As a Muslim, we say, no, I love you so much. I love you so much. But the reality is, Lakum dinukum. If you are invited, come to the synagogue. For come worship with me. You go back to being a Muslim. You go back to being a Muslim. Value Allah and the messenger. Pass any other person else. You never find a person, a person when truly love Allah, when truly love Allah, he prefer people that will go against the love of Allah. Even if you have been saying, that he parents them, or you have been saying, that he brothers them, or you have been saying, that he kids and kings, no matter how close they are to him or her, as long as they go against the love of Allah, you know they join them. That is a true believer. That is a person who submits. But to them too, they say, how for you? How for you? Subhanallah. Not tolerance, beloved brothers, beloved sisters, who they misunderstand the word tolerance. Subhanallah. Tolerance means, I allow me for enjoy what you believe. You allow me self for enjoy what you believe. Then I tolerance. You don't compromise. Now we are joining you by what you believe. Just because I love you. Just because I want to please you. Sometimes they happen to we as well as them. You boss, you boss, subhanallah. Now he invites you in the place of worship. You just know you think it's hard for you to be boss. You prefer the boss, even though preferring the boss to boss the iman, you don't care. You're here for boss the iman for the boss. 
na dunia na iwat atakshaw na hum na they be afraid Allah wa haqqo an takshya na Allah na kufrit because at the end of the day we will be returning to Allah so we tolerate everyone for what she put in the belief subhanallah tolerance in Islam is so great that I know it's even better than tell me he said wa la tasubbu alladheena yadu'oona min duni Allah fa yasubbu Allah adwan bi ghayri ilm una not cause the gods of other people if una cause them gods them they will turn around for cause Allah without any knowledge this is tolerance no cause the gods of other people no belittle them subhanallah allow them but at the same time you know they join in acts of worship when you come to worship there is a line so the question now will come on among all of us can I wish me non muslim brother me non muslim friend happy christmas subhanallah can I wish me brother can I wish me friend as a muslim the answer is no you know why when you do that you don't be among the one that will get the conviction we believe that Allah gave the king and that Allah in the king was born on that day it's a serious crime subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say لَكَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ الثَّلَاثَةِ Those who utter, those who say Subhanallah That Allah na one of the three or na part of the three He said they disbelieve completely in Allah وَمَا مِنْ إِلَّا 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 وَاحِدَ There is no God in existence beside Allah Almighty Allah says in Surah Al-Maryam He said people when they say وَقَالُوا تَخَذَ رَحْمَانُ وَلَدَا People in there when they ascribe begin to a Rahman when Allah Almighty Allah says لَكَ جِدْتُمْ شَيْءٍ إِدَّا The people they are They don't present a presentation Subhanallah was so grand in the sight of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala say تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتِ يَتَفَتَّرُنَ مِنْ وَانْتَشْجُوا شَكْتَ الْأَرْضِ وَتَخِيرُوا الْجِبَالِ Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala say for that statement He left small تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتِ يَتَفَتَّرُنَ مِنْ for ascribing a child to Allah He left small let the sama is split Subhanallah And let the ground split not only that day, let the mountain them crumble and come away and da'aw li rahman wa la ta'ala because people ascribe a child to Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says in the Quran قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ صَمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوَ الْأَحَدْ Say to them, Allah is not one, you don't get any partner. Allah is self-sufficient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not born, they are not born, and there is nothing like unto Allah. This is to believe. We are not forcing anyone for believe that belief. And you cannot force anyone for believe you believe. Subhanallah. But you have to realize that I am a Muslim. I get a code of conduct, subhanallah. I get a guiding principle for follow by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until then, inshallah, we will become better Muslims by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their particular celebrations, they are not a part of the celebrations. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell me, subhanallah, when he go to Medina, it means he answer them. Then we celebrate, get two days when they will celebrate, subhanallah. And he asked them, he said, why don't they celebrate their celebration there? He said, then two days there, we will celebrate their celebration there in the Jahiliya period. In the days of ignorance, we will celebrate them two days there. The Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell them a very beautiful message. And that message is for the all. He said, as from the all he placed them two days there, all other celebrations for now, which two only. Which one? The Eid al-Fitr and the Eid al-Abha. The Eid, the prayer day when they come after Ramadan and the one when they come at the end of the Hajj. 
by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are our aims. We have celebrations by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today, the early Muslim, they say, this particular Christmas or New Year, it makes me bad. Subhanallah. It makes me bad. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. With the shopping, with the buying new clothes. Subhanallah, it's not a celebration, just one dress fine. For the dress way dressed in a unique way on that day alone. For the cook way cook, you know, plant cook beef. But on the day of that celebration, you cook beef, especially because on the day you don't participate in that participation. For dress you begin them uniquely on that day, automatically you don't participate in that participation. And Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Wata'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa, wa la ta'awanu ala al-ithmi wa al-udwan. Though we collaborate and integrate by God consciousness and righteousness, though we don't collaborate and integrate by anything, we go against the belief of the oneness of Allah. You know that even among the Christian God, there are those who know they celebrate that celebration. They don't believe in it. Subhanallah. Even among the Christian dog, subhanallah. Why would he have so much for that day, for Boxing Day, for a new year? Subhanallah. Now the fifth month we day inside the Arabic calendar. The problem we will get now because you know they pay we via the Arabic calendar. That is why many of us don't even know about the Arabic calendar. Subhanallah. <coughs> May Allah forgive who mistakes them. May Allah strengthen we. Imagine if we all decide on the 26 for box box yourself, what you have been? How many pains of Buddha gets? Subhanallah, may Almighty Allah grant you the coolness of the mind. May Allah not make among the one who the box box yourself for this one to haram. Subhanallah, we get a beautiful deen. That is why we commence by reminding you and I that we are Muslims. We get a code of conduct. We don't follow the flow, but rather we follow the Quran and Sunnah. By the mass of Allah. We love our brothers, we love our sisters, subhanallah. As non-Muslim, we love them, we value them so much. Quran tell me, for be good to parents and even if they are non-Muslims, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah tell me something. He said, Wa in jahadaka, ala an tushrika bi ma laysa laka bi ilmun fala tutihuma, wa sahibuhuma fi dunya ma'rufa, wa tabi sabila man anaba ilay, thumma ilayya marjiukum fa unabbiukum bima kuntum ta'maloon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, look, Respect your parents them, honor them, do for them, ensure that you be serviceable to them, subhanallah. But if then they call you to us, disobey me. Allah says, if Allah do the Quran, not obey them. So if you have a non-Muslim parent, and he asks you, say, subhanallah, you need for send for me this, for celebrate this day, then you don't have to do that. But Allah can send for any other day by the mass of Allah. You can dress on any other day by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what Islam teaches me. This is what Islam teaches you as Muslim by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We love our brothers. We love them for the sake of Allah. We tolerate one another. We don't need to hate them subhanallah. No eternal Islam preach love and tolerance by the mass of Allah. But Islam not allow you for compromise when it comes to worship by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can interact, we can sell, we can buy for one another, we can sleep inside the same house with non-Muslim by the will of Allah. In fact, you know in Islam, if a non-Muslim, if a non-Muslim want to rent your house, as a Muslim, you get right to rent a if you need that, by the will of Allah. As long as you not turn your house to a place of worship. If you not for sleep no more, you can lodge up. It is acceptable in Islam. Why? The Prophet alayhi salatu salam, he lodged non-Muslim them inside mosque. Inside a mosque. People from Najran, they lodged them inside the masjid. Subhanallah, here we are not Muslim. They went and many of them came back and accepted Islam. So we have to be kind, we have to be nice by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we need to know the limits by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make dua for the non-Muslim brothers and sisters by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Continue to make dua for them, make dua for one another. They are our brothers in humanity by the mass of Allah. They are brothers in nationality by the will of Allah. We are all Sierra Leoneans. We connected globally as human beings by the mass of Allah. We want goodness for one another by the will of Allah. We love one another, we value one another. We pray for one another, we wish goodness for one another, but when it comes to act of worship, Lakum Dinukum, Waliyadin, we get to celebration, stick to that by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. Teach you beginning about Tawheed by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and never ever associate partner with Allah or encourage.
Khalid Rafiq will have to associate partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or teach you beginner to associate partner with Allah. Because when you associate partner with Allah, we worship all that thing beside Allah. Or believe say Allah gets a begin and we die upon that condition. Subhanallah, we don't block the chance for enter Isa Jannah. Because Almighty Allah says in the Quran via the lips of Isa alayhi salam to salam, otherwise known as Prophet Jesus Christ in the English language, he tells the people that we saw Al-Ma'ida. He said, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَا وَاهُ النَّارِ Anybody who associates partner with Allah, he worship God a thing beside Allah. Or if you live say Allah gets a begin, or Allah gets a partner, or Allah is a three in one, or Allah is a part of the three. If you get a belief day, and you die upon that condition day, Isa alayhi salatu salam, in the Quran, he said, you never ever enter into Isa Jannah. Never ever. وَمَا وَاهُ النَّارِ that particular individual will not be placed in a hellfire. Why? Because he died in associating partner with Allah. May Allah forgive your mistakes. Eh? May Allah strengthen you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you the true submitters them to the beautiful system of this beautiful deen by the mass of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala make you among the one them who will not compromise the act of worship them with Almighty Allah prescribed for me by the mass of Allah. No matter how much you love someone, be is nilahi ta'ala, the best love that for me to have. For am I the will of Allah for guidance? There are times no matter how much you love somebody, no matter how much you love them, guidance on the night hand it belongs to Allah. Guidance belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah for goodness for one and all, for tranquility in this nation by the demands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for upliftment in terms of goodness in this nation by the demands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa grant you guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa forgive your mistakes. May Allah take your life inside this beautiful deen. May Allah bless you community them by the demands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make we soldiers them of Islam by the demands of Allah. May Allah make we are among the propellers of this deen by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant you the ability for no limits by the will of Allah. May Allah make we nice to the non Muslim them in terms of goodness by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ma'ahdina fi man alayt, ma'ahdina fi man a'fayt, wa ta'alana fi man ta'alayt, wa ma'arifana fi man a'atayt, wa ina usimana shara Allah alayt, inna ka takdiru bil haqi wa la yubida alayt, la ila ila anta subhana inna kuna minna ta'alimin, asunallah wa ni'ma al-wakil wa la hula wa la quwwa ta'ila bilal al-azim, Allahumma ya muqallib al-kulub, thabbit kulubana ala dinik, Allahumma ya muqallib al-kulub, thabbit kulubana ala dinik, bi rahimatika ya rahma wa rahimin, اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأزل الشرك والمشركين ودمي الآداء الدين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد سبحان الله بحمد سبحانك الله وبحمده نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين